Right then, welcome back. And yes, it's that time. The final career event. The Nürburgring Nordschleife 24 hours. Um, just wow. Uh, Bike-wise, we are going with the 2019 Aprilia RSV4 Factory 1100. Uh, I wanted something that had a nice power delivery that I trusted the front end of and I could ride and ride and ride. The BMW 2 Feisty, Honda 2 Feisty, Kawasaki 2 Feisty, Yamaha, no good. MV, no. Uh, and we didn't have the Ducati, so we had to go with this. Setup-wise, I was a little bit worried about the back end of the bike. I thought that was way too stiff a spring, so what I ended up doing, I added one click on preload on the front to stop the bike washing out I took one click off the spring hardness and dropped the rebound and compression on the rear right down to stop the bike kind of bouncing about too much at the back because it's a really bumpy track uh, we did a 647 on the 2019 Ninja road bike I was aiming for under I was aiming for under 7 minutes the problem is the lap's so long and it, I wasn't going to qualify, I was always going to start at the back of the grid. It was just a bit of a time trial to see what we were doing lap time wise. So taking it nice and easy. Crashes. There were crashes everywhere. I mean, first lap out of the box, um, we did a 6.50-ish. Then we went on again and it was similar. It wasn't, again, it wasn't a particularly clean lap, hence the invalid lap. Um, but we were, we were sitting around the 650-655 mark. Now, I had no clue how fast the AI riders were going to be. I didn't know what their fuel strategy was going to be. I felt like I was going into this about as blind as you can go into an event. Um, and despite doing three laps and not really setting what I would consider to be a really quick time, I mean, a 650 was about the fastest we actually got. I was very, very worried. Uh, there's the setup. I went anti-wheelie two, um, engine braking one or two, traction one or zero, and the tyres were all over the shop. We started off on a hard front, medium rear. I ended up going to a medium front, hard rear. Overnight, we were on softs because the temperature dropped off a cliff. It was just absolutely everywhere. And, well, I was very nervous. It's, it's the final career race. This is it. There's no more career races after this. Everything's done. The career side of the game is 100% complete and I was like I say I was nervous I didn't know what to expect I was fully believe in my ability but what I didn't anticipate is this yes that's how the 24-hour race started um, end of lap one guess what we binned it again um, just starting lap two binned it again uh, sorry, no, this is all, this is, this is actually the lap one, sorry, my apologies, I'm getting carried away. Uh, it wasn't just me, the AI was struggling as well, so we haven't even completed a lap yet. Uh, we are six minutes and 43 seconds into the race and we've crashed about five times. Um, and it, it just, it didn't get any better. Uh, the pit strategy for the AI riders was all over the place. Uh, they did not have any consistency whatsoever. When the weather was really warm, they were going in the, into the pits every one or two laps. Um, the leader, we were that far behind at the end of the first lap, the leader's gone in the pits, pitted, and come back out again. Um, it just made no sense, lap two. The new leader's gone into the pits, pitted, and come back out again. Uh, it's just, we were miles behind. Um, cold front tyre, bike wouldn't behave. Um, ambient temperature wasn't too hot, 11.15 in the morning, so it was only going to get warmer. Um, and there was loads of this as well. That's the end of the first hour. Uh, we are, what, 40-odd seconds behind. We're crashing. Uh, the sense of what have I done was palpable. I was not sure whether this was going to be a good thing or not. But how far do you go before you quit? Two hours in. Um, 22 seconds behind. The leader's now dropped. The original leader's dropped to third. We've got a German at the front. And I thought, here we go. German's at the front. At the Nordschleife. We'll just end up getting absolutely creamed. Uh, they actually dropped right off when it got a bit warmer and then dropped into the evening. Uh, the German rider fell away massively. Um, hour three, well, into hour three, three hours done, whatever you want to call it. We've got a decent lead, 40 seconds. We're getting to a bit of a groove. Uh, we've done a 6.52, so we're getting there lap time-wise. Bear in mind the bike. I only ran performance mode for about the last four hours, just to try and make it a bit more interesting because I'd had more than enough by then. Um, four hours in, we've got a 1 minute 28 lead. Um, the sparsity of people on the track, I mean, if you look at the map in the bottom left corner, there's only 12 riders. 
I was literally going for hours and hours without seeing another rider. I haven't lapped anybody yet. Um, it took us a long time. Um, coming up for five hours completed, 19 hours left. It's obscene, isn't it? 40 odd laps done. Uh, we've lapped 12th, we've lapped 11th, and we're trying to chase down 10th. And this became the problem throughout the race chasing riders down giving myself an objective to try and stay focused concentrate um six hours in we've knocked it down to a 648 um the game there's little things happening that i thought the game was going to crash now uh, please don't be under the impression that i did this 24 hours all in one go i did not this took three and a half days i turned my xbox on and my electricity bill went through the roof um it was absolutely horrendous having to go for food and sleep and other bits of life getting in the way and it just wasn't good. The pit stops were horrendous as well. Look how long it takes them to actually start working on the bike. From pit entry to getting off the bike is about, what, 40 feet? And you've got to make a decision on what tyres you want on the front, on the rear, and then what fuel you're going to have in. And not only that, it took forever. I mean, if you've seen endurance racing on the TV, they fill those bikes in about four seconds. Filler goes in fuel goes in air comes out the tank and it's like go see you later uh, it takes a long time and not only that watch the pit exit just watch this pit exit and this was nine times out of ten that would happen bin it and then you're at a standing start this first corner is a nightmare it's got loads of camera on it the curbs massive just mucking about at seven hours in it's just starting to drop dark it's just starting to drop and it's getting very very difficult now um, we've got a good lead four minutes uh, the Chinese rider He's now in second. I mean, it, is, it was ample opportunity to appreciate the graphics that actually Ride for can generate. The sunset was absolutely fantastic. Um, it was more of a distraction um, than I expected it to be, but it just, it was a really nice time of day in game to ride round and try and do laps and laps and laps and laps, but it was just, yeah, just very, 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 very distracting. Um, the run down the foxhole, this bit we're going through now, up to, um, is it Adenauer? Adenauer, 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 Adenauer Forest, isn't it? Um, it was very, very difficult in the daylight. Um, we'll go again at night time. It was horrendous at night time, and I mean horrendous. Um, eight hours in, 16 hours left, a third of the way, woohoo, we're a third done, we've done 68 laps. Um, how? Or what target do you set yourself? What target do you set yourself with regards to laps? Um, nine hours in, dark now, fully dark. Um, we're nearly four minutes in front. At this point, I'm thinking, do you know what? I'm going to lap everybody. I'm going to lap everybody before half this race is done. That didn't happen. We lost a massive... All of a sudden, we're in the dark. Our laps dropped up massively. We dropped a load of time. Ten hours in. Um, it's getting hard it is dark uh, the lights at the side of the track are very few and far between the curbs are huge the bumps the all your visual reference points you lose you just lose them and it's very very difficult um, to work out where you are and what you're doing and what corners coming out the number of times i've completely forgot where i was um, 11 hours in at 93 laps complete the target the long term target the end goal became do 200 laps that's what it became. Do 200 laps, avoid the AI riders that are crashing left, right and centre. Try and do 200 laps. Win, obviously, was the first objective. Win, do 200 laps. Um, I, it's so difficult to set yourself targets consistently. Um, 12 hours in, halfway, 102 laps complete. Now we went, uh, and I am going to upload the full 24 hours, but you can only do 12 hour videos now on YouTube, so I've split it into three 8 hour chunks. So if you are an absolute nutter, and you want to watch the entire thing, then you are more than welcome. They're processing now, so as soon as they're ready, I'll get them uploaded. Um, here we go, down the foxhole, look at the state of this. Where is the line on this motorbike right now? Where do you go? Where do you go? It is just so difficult to pick it out. Um, it's not like I'm using a little TV neither. I had ended up altering the display to try and increase the amount of kind of contrast and brightness. And this, this annoyed the shit out of me. These audio glitches, they were an absolute nightmare. You'd run over a curb and you'd just get a load of background noise. And I, there's nothing I can do about it, I'm sorry. 
just gonna have to live with it. 14 hours in, um, fuel, fuel became a problem. Um, I ran out of fuel twice. Um, it gives you a reserve, you can get back to the pits, it does about 75 miles an hour. There will be a demonstration of what happens when you run out of fuel uh, in very shortly. At 15 hours in, 127 laps complete, we're down to a 1 minute 55 lead. I think the lowest, or the smallest the lead got was 30 seconds. I was panicking, I am not going to lie to you, I was panicking. Um, I was praying, I mean look at that. Someone said in the comments the other day they've stuck an elephant on the front end of the bike. <laughs> you know what, you're not far wrong there buddy. Over the jumps it was absolutely scrap. Um, 16 hours in, uh, extended the lead a little bit, it's gone back out to 2 minutes 12 from 155, but oh god, I have had, I mean we're two thirds of the way through, I have had enough, I have had enough. Um, this happened a couple of times, I just in the zone doing lap after lap, forgot that I needed to pit. It was taking about 7-8% to do a lap. It just depended on what you were doing. And I know it's cheeky. And do you know what? What am I meant to do? Start again? I mean, do another lap and run out? I mean, what do you do? Genuinely, what do you do? Um, 17 hours, what we're doing here. Oh, here we go. So, even I'm confused now. We're coming up to nearly 18 hours done. I go sailing past the pits with 4% fuel and 3% rear tyre. It's just starting to get light. I got distracted. I was excited. I've just realised now. I was like, shit, I'm meant to go in the pits. What do you do? Well, I carried on and we got to here. We got, what, four and a half minutes in. Call it two thirds of the way round. You know what I mean? Just before, well, way before the dotting a hoe, but... Um, and that's it, that's all you get. Leave it in sixth and it'll do 80-ish miles an hour. Two minutes 18 is our lead and we've now got to crawl round all the way. I mean, look at that sunrise though. What's it, red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning. I'm sure red, the red, red sky every morning, but hey-ho. We'll see, but yeah, crawling round at 80 miles an hour. Tires have gone stone cold. We've got 1% rear tire, not that it matters. It doesn't matter what rear tire we're carrying, does it? Because we, uh, we've got to go all the way down the dotting a hoe now at 80 miles an hour. Um, we did go and get fuel, um, 18 hours in, 6 hours less, it's down to 34 seconds. Uh, if you look down on the map, we've just lapped third, but second is not far behind us, and there seems to be a massive group of riders in the northeast corner of the circuit, I'm not sure why. Um, but yeah, we were starting, even though it was starting to get light, I was starting to pack. Look at that for a summer. So we had a burst of red, and now we've got that. That's absolutely amazing. Um, 19 hours in, 5 hours left, 160 laps. We went on a mission between um, 6 hours left and 5 hours left. I don't actually think I fell off. I just went on a mission, pumping some really good laps in. Very close to 648, 650 consistently under seven minutes just lap after lap after lap soft tires on power mode on just going for it absolutely going for it um four hours left so 20 hours in we just fell off um i didn't really know what to do but we'll just do a summary at each hour i mean how how do you break down a 24 hour race where you do 200 laps of the nurburgring i mean where do you even start i mean you could pick it apart and say oh look at all the times i fell off look how many times over took. i don't know how many miles it is i don't know how many corners how many pit stops the amount of information is just just massively overwhelming. Uh, 21 hours in, 3 hours left, 5 minute 13 lead. Um, it became now, it was like, right, I'm going to overtake everybody. Everyone is getting lapped. We're gonna, I mean, you would anticipate lapping everybody in a 24 hour race, wouldn't you? But that was the objective. 22 hours in, 2 hours left. Again, like... I've gone through several sets of batteries on the controller, I'm knackered, I'm eating mini cheddars and savoury snacks to try and stay awake. Every time down a dotting a hoe, I'm eating something and drinking something, trying to stay awake. Uh, 6.42 lead, and then 23 hours in, um, one hour left. We've got to do six laps in an hour. Seven minutes a lap, six laps. I think we're probably going to do it. You're looking at, what, 40 odd minutes. We've lapped everybody, we've just gone past the second place rider. Uh, it's starting to warm up a little bit. It took ages for the temperature to come back up. It was sat at 15, 16 degrees for a long time. Tires were cold and not happy. Um, and yeah, this was it. The last run down at Dottinger Hoe. Um, we managed seven laps in the last hour. So seven sevens are what, 49? Yeah, seven sevens are 49. So we were doing 
close to seven minute laps plus a pit stop and a few other bits and bobs bobs we're clear a second and i just thought sod it i'm just going to stick it on the back wheel down the dotting at 120 mile an hour and we'll just do a wheelie um it didn't like fourth so we had to we had to pull it up he works really hard to get that back up again um and that was it um the sense of achievement when we finished i'm not gonna lie it was not great it was yes there's a bike at the end of it yes there was a lot of credits 11 point something million credits times two i believe um but that was it no achievement no nothing a couple of badges um absolutely underwhelming from a a completionist or completion a completing point of view there's just we got a Ducati that we could have gone and bought from the dealer a year ago and been happy and I've refused because I don't want two of the same bike but um, yeah there you go uh, would I recommend you do this race no I would not it was disgusting I did it a couple of weeks back it took forever to go through the footage and process it and edit it and get to hear it. It took ages to upload it to YouTube. An eight hour video uploading to YouTube took about three hours and then it's got processed. process. One of them's processed, it took four days to process it. Um, but there you go, 203 laps, lapped everybody. Um, 40 points, thank you very much, you're so very kind. Uh, 11 and a half million credits times two, look at the experience, nearly a million experience points. Um, and yeah, we got a Ducati. I mean, don't me wrong, it's a very, very, very nice decay, and I'm sure it'll be very, very fast, and we'll use it, and we'll do some endurance races, not for a while, because I am not over this event at all. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a good-looking bike. We'll do some miles on it. We'll get up to level five. I've got to factor it into my endurance plan. But yeah, that's it. There you go. 200 points for the endurance events. Done. Zoom out a couple of levels, and we're done. If we go to the World League, all the points done 162 trophies of 162 trophies 19,100 points 576 riding hours nearly 60,000 miles 1,925 events done yeah shocking but before we go I just want to say thank you thank you for staying with me on this journey thank you for all the feedback the comments absolutely everything it was a lockdown thing like a lot of people i was trapped in the house i couldn't do anything and i just started making videos just for something to do more than anything bit of mental health and we're nearly at a thousand subscribers not something i ever thought would happen i thought i'd be lucky to get to 100 and we're nearly at a thousand and there's a few of you that have been with me for a, a lot of it and i genuinely consider you to be friends and I thank you for all of your comments and all of your feedback and all of your questions on setups and everything else and I know a little about not a lot and I'm more than happy to share it but thank you the career events are done the career is 100% complete I'm not the first and I won't be the last but that is one of the few games ever that I have completed so thank you thank you for sticking with me thank you for putting up with me and thank you for watching for liking for commenting subscribing the whole shebang and fingers crossed i will see you next time take care stay safe peace